We're just going to ramp up in difficulty with our examples as we go. Uh, this one, it might not be so easy to look and say the derivative of something in here is equal to something else in here. How's that going to work? In that case, you just want to pick something. And the only thing I can see that's maybe worth picking is to try u equals the square root of x. Maybe 1 over the square root of x, but uh, this is more likely. And um, doing these problems is going to build that intuition to the point where you know what you should choose for u. Um, so here we go. There's u. du then would be 1 half x to the minus 1 half dx, which is 1 over 2 times the square root of x dx. And there we have it. We have a dx over square root of x here. We have a dx over square root of x in our original integral. So uh, that's going to allow us to make the substitution. So we can, we can do one more step here, and we can say 2 du equals dx over the square root of x, and that'll allow us to plug right in. We end up with the cosine of the square root of x, so cosine of u. Um, we have dx over root x is 2 du. So there it is. I've got the integral sign kind of wonky there, but, uh, but there it is. 2 times the integral of the cosine of u du. The antiderivative of cosine is sine, so we have 2 sine u plus c. So 2 times the sine of the square root of x plus c is our antiderivative by the method of substitution.